And so today I'm here to show you a look that I came up with using the 88 Warm Palette. I haven't used it in a while, so I figured, well, why not get it out and come up with a look. I really love the look. It is some brown and it's not really purple, but it has like a tint of purple in the browns. So here's a picture of what it looks like. Alright, so if you'd like to see how I did this look, just keep watching. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is just prime your eye with any eye primer of your choice. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to put down a color base. The color base I'm using today is a Smashbox Cream Liner in Cameo. And it's this color right here. It's a very soft um, red, but it has brown in it. So, like the red's very... It's very soft of looking. So I'm just taking that on to a shadow liner brush. It's just like a little, it's like a fatter pencil brush. We're going to dab this just onto our eye to spread out the color. And you guys can see that it has a soft red hint to this brown. So just take this and you're going to apply this only onto the lid of your eye, not into the crease so it, um, so it will not crease. So go ahead and do that. Okay, so once you have that color blended in, I just take my ring finger, kind of tap on top of it to make sure that it's really pressed into my eyelid and any extra color will go onto my finger and you can just use like a towel to brush that off so you don't have a ton on there. Alright, next I'm going to be applying my highlight color. I'm taking a large shadow brush like this. I'm using my Coastal Sense 88 Warm Palette. We're going in the ninth row, second color down. And that looks like that. This is a very pretty champagne color with a hint of pink. So go ahead and apply that to your brow bone and wherever you like to highlight. Next we're taking a large shadow brush. We're going into the 11th row, 4th color down. It looks like this. It's a very soft brown with gold in it. So go ahead and pack that onto your brush and you're going to pat this all on top of the cream liner um, base that you had put down. Okay, next take a stiff crease brush. We're going to go into the row 9, 6 color down and this is like a cross between brown and purple. It's it's a really pretty color. I'm not quite sure how to describe it all the way, but it looks like this. So take some of that, put it on your crease brush, and go ahead and blend this into your crease. Take a clean blending brush and blend out the edges and make sure you blend that into your highlight color. Okay, next you are going to take a pencil brush and this is thinner than the brush that we applied the shadow liner with. We're going to go into the seventh row, eighth color down, sorry. It is a very pretty gold bronze. Looks like that. and pack that onto your brush and then you're going to put this in the outer crease and onto your lash line. You're also going to take that color and you're going to drag that on your lower lash line.
Okay, next for eyeliner, we're going to apply Smashbox On Trend Cream Eyeliner. It looks like that. It is a black taupe color with about, it kind of is like green and gold glitter in it. So I'm going to apply that to top and bottom lash line, and I will be right back. Alright, so I've applied my eyeliner to top and bottom lash line. The next thing I'm going to do is curl my lashes and then add my mascara. Now, I think I found the best combination of two mascaras to make my lashes super, super long. First, I apply L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. Looks like this. And then next, I use Maybelline Lash Stiletto. So I apply Telescopic first and then Lash Stiletto and I really wiggle it really good at the bases, the base of my eyelashes, and it makes them super, super long. So I'm going to apply my mascara and I will be right back. All right, so I'm done applying mascara. I'm going to apply for my cheeks the blush called Heat Wave. Just taking on a small stippling brush and we're going to just apply that just to your cheeks. And last for lips, I'm going to apply Smashbox Candid Lip Gloss. Looks like that. Just going to apply that and we're done. Alright, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask. I will list everything over in the sidebar. So once again, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.